beautiful songs of the light. Thank you for being here. Such a pleasure as always. I love these times of the week where we get to be live and soul to soul, heart to heart, sharing and expressing what's happening within us collectively, individually, all over the globe, all at once. This is your 15 minutes of the week where you get heard, where we see one another, where we feel one another and where we become inspired about our path that's been and certainly our path that's happening right now and where we're heading over the next week. So thank you for giving your time to this. Share this live while we're live with anyone that you know it can assist. There will be a replay, of course, as well. As you're coming in, letting you know that last week when we connected and we were under that energy of the micro full moon and almost total uh, lunar eclipse, the longest that we'll have partial lunar eclipse in 650 years, could you feel that intensity? Did you feel that almost blanket of love that fell over the planet as we had Earth right there in between the sun and the moon? There was a hush that went over the globe. It was palpable. I certainly felt it. The animals felt it. They all went quiet. Nature became quite still. In the lead up, it was all very boisterous, but then it all hushed in because the eclipse tells us to go within. And it was the door opener on two weeks of events that we're in right now that will accelerate your life and your purpose more than any other moment of the year. And we'll be speaking about that this evening. We'll also be speaking about your sacred words of power. You may have never heard of that before. You may not know what your words of power are, but each of us have names and sounds that resonate and activate us on a soul level. They are unique to us. And when we say them, either silently within or out aloud, we activate our full soul power. So vital in today's world. I'll take you through a mini ritual where you will be given your words of power. Maybe you already know them, but if you don't, you will after tonight. And we'll be working with the beloved Isis energy for that process to occur. Great queen of the universe. Isis is an energy I've worked with my whole life. I know it intimately well, and she will guide you so well as she does with me. As well, if you receive my daily energy forecasts and life guide, the tip off global energy forecast, beautiful ones, the all new uh, seven next seven days are online now, November 26 to December 2. We're crossing over into December this week already, final month of the year. So this is your bumper first edition for December. My new December energy overview video is online now. I'm very pleased with this one. The messages that came through when I was channeling, uh, and you know, I, I, I speak those videos in one take. The messages that came through were so poignant for the month ahead. Really enjoyed making that video for you. And my team enjoyed putting it together as well. Let me know what you think of it when you have a chance to listen to it. The December Cosmic Events Guide is online as well and an all new guided meditation that comes with the tip off for December, revealing your life purpose. So perfect in a month where we're wrapping up the year and getting ready for the year that will be. ElizabethPeru.com if you want to learn more about how you can become a member of the tip off global energy forecast and work with me just like this every day and thousands around the globe as we all evolve together. And this weekend, all new on my blog on elizabethprue.com is the spiritual night shift. Do you remember about a week ago we were speaking uh, on my Facebook page about restless sleep 
and doing a lot of healing work at night. And so many of you, thousands of you, wanted to know more because you related to it and you felt that was what was happening to you. So I knew I had to write a blog post about it. So that will be online uh, this weekend, The Spiritual Night Shift. It's a real thing, all about ascension and dreams in your sleep. If you're on my email list, I'll be emailing you as soon as that's online. If you're not on my email list, you can join on my blog page on elizabethfree.com. So something there that will really assist you this weekend. Right, I can see we're nearly at over 300 live. So let's go in a little deeper now, a little deeper into what's been occurring. And then we'll move into that beautiful mini ritual for your words of power. So stay with me for that. Now, last week's lunar eclipse opened the door. Eclipses come in pairs. One opens the door, the second one closes it. Sometimes they come in threes. That's a more a rare occasion, but this time they're in the twos, the opener and the closer. So the opener occurred and the doorway of opportunity, like a portal of light, opened on two weeks in between eclipses. We're almost at the halfway point now. That happens this weekend. So we have another eclipse coming the following weekend, which will be a super new moon and a total solar eclipse. Beautiful way to close the door. But every day you would have noticed already over the last few days that it feels like you're living a year in a day. So much is occurring. You could be exhausted because of that. Mentally, physically, emotionally. Your spirit is leading right now, putting you through your paces. So much information is coming through the ethers into your conscious awareness. Have a notebook with you every day. This is the most magical period of the year for meditation, for healing work, for, for rituals, for sacred connection, for understanding who you are on a soul level. So you can bring that being out to lead your human life, which is what we're here for, to embody our soul consciously while we live as human. That's the goal of the soul for everyone. That is our overarching purpose. Through that doorway of light, you are being pushed to know who you are. And that's when having your divine words of power with you can assist. Because when you say your words, they bring instant clarity through. And what you can't decipher, what you're finding uh, frustrating in understanding of what's in front of you, can suddenly be like an open book that you can read. You bring yourself back to your original soul template. So if you have disconnected from that, you bring yourself back home. You bring the power, as I say, back home to you. Because what's occurring and what's very evident in this eclipse doorway is that crossover period between astrological eras. Now, this has been occurring for some 20 years or more already. The crossover from the astrological Piscean age, which began some 2000 years ago, into the next astrological age, which will be the Aquarian age. And the crossover period can take many hundreds of years. It depends upon how quickly we evolve through it. Slowly, we've seen the signs of it probably since the beginning of the 80s coming through, particularly with technology, which is a hallmark of the Aquarian era. It's the era of, it's the era of light and the era of the individual being empowered. We're coming out of the Piscean age, which was a heavier energy, systematic control, secrecy, keeping everything quiet and away from the masses, only into the higher power structures, the hierarchy, and keeping everyone beyond that higher hierarchy in the dark. You could have called Pisces age of the dark, Aquarius is the age of the light because everything's exposed and revealed. But when that happens and the band-aids ripped off, it can seem harsh at first. And you and me and everyone, we're walking in between eras right now. You've heard me talk about being on the bridge between worlds. Uh, those in particular born from the 60s to the 80s, you're the cosmic earth bridges. You're the ones that know life before and after this great evolution that's occurring. 
and those born from the 40s into the 60s prepared us for this. We have great roles to play on this planet. We are the way showers, the bridges between eras. Now, what's happening with those eras is you can associate with one or the other. It's a very decisive, uh, divisive period. You're seeing the divisiveness all around the globe. And that's the higher cosmic reasoning for it. Some are associating with the old age. They want the old back. They want the way things used to be. They don't want change and they don't want newness. And they're holding on to it. Then you have another group who just want the new in. They want to shake things up. They want the whole establishment gone. And all they're focusing on is disruption of that so they can bring in the new. And so you have the two of them at odds fighting. Then you can serve the role in the middle, the middle way, as the Egyptians would call it, the Buddhists would call it as well, the middle path. But it's the bridge between worlds where you see both sides. You've got a foot in both sides. And you're okay with both sides and you recognize that there are going to be a period of decades if not hundreds of years where it is going to be difficult to be in balance but you see what's coming which is a complete changer of energy when the aquarian era fully uh, immerses into our consciousness over the next few hundred years this period of divisiveness will go and will be in calmer waters again it would have been like this when the, era, at the age of Aries moved into the age of Pisces. The same disruption would have occurred. Every era, the crossover is the most difficult. But you're here for it, so you decide how smoothly we get through. I hope that's helping you understand what's going on on the planet. You're not going crazy. Other people aren't going crazy. They just don't understand the higher cosmological reasons for why Earth is changing so much. Humanity's relationships with one another and systems and structures are morphing. It's preordained by the very fact that we are cosmic beings as part of a moving cosmic cycle. Nothing ever stays the same. In the eclipse doorway, this is more and more evident. So you're seeing circumstances around you, around the world, flare up. No better know why listen to this multiple times if you need to to let it really sink in why this is occurring now your opportunity in this doorway is to be that way shower that calm bridge to be the example to others so that when others are losing the plot around you you can help them you can help them see a new way to be in a calm peaceful light, calm, peaceful light. Having your own individual words of power will help you do that. Now, when I take you through this process, what I'll say before it is these are your sounds and your words, no one else's. It helps if you keep them close to you. Keep them private and secret to you. Don't go and plaster them all over social media or tell everyone what your words of power are they're sacred to you the ancients taught us the positive side of keeping things quiet when they are yours because when you disperse them you disperse the energy and you lose the power of them so keep the power close we often give way too much away uh, keep it close have a notebook handy so you can write them down. I will say as well that sometimes your words will, will be quite abstract. They won't make logical sense. You may have never heard of it before. It may not make uh, uh, sense to you as in you won't find your word in a dictionary. It may be a sound as well, a lyrical sound. Try not to judge it, just accept whatever comes through. If you don't hear it at first, take yourself through the process again, because we're all at different stages of being open to hearing soul's truth. Okay, beautiful ones. Uncross your arms and legs. 
and just close your eyes and focus on your breath. You'll be breathing in through your nose and out through the mouth. Take three deep breaths in and out and just relax your body. Lovely straight spine, opening yourself up to the love and truth of soul to flow through you. as you bring your awareness into your heart space. Just placing your left hand over your heart and your right hand over your left. Take three deep breaths in and out of the heart. Feeling the warmth of your soul. And if your body starts to rock or sway, let it do so. And on that third breath, noticing a beautiful light emanating from your heart. It will be a different color, different hue for everyone. Notice what color yours is. And it's becoming brighter and brighter, enveloping your whole body and right out in front of you as well. And as your heart light lights up, the space in front of you, you see a magnificent stairway, a cosmic stairway of light beckoning you forth. Step upon it. We're all doing it together. Left foot first, always leading in spirit. Slowly stepping up the cosmic stairway of light. You may have your gaze downward or even with your eyes closed, it's up to you. Whatever feels natural. Slowly ascending, rising up. Until we reach what appears to be the top. Just pause here a moment and look up. Because in front of you is a great cosmic curtain of light billowing through all time and space. On the count of three, it will open. One, two, three. Beautiful souls of the light, before you now is the great cosmic queen, Isis. Gaze upon her. She invites you to. You are most welcome here. You have always been welcome here in the presence of the Divine Feminine. She knows why you are here. To receive your divine sacred words of power. They have always been with you. But she will remind you of what they are so that you can use them wisely to assist your path and your purpose. Are you ready? Good. Take a deep breath in and out of your heart as your soul light deepens and increases. And saying, either silently within or out aloud. Beloved Isis of the light, I am ready to receive my divine sacred words of power. Isis moves over near your left ear. Are you ready to receive? Say yes. Now listen, these are your words of power.
thanking the beloved Isis. Thanking, yes. These words, these sounds are imprinted upon your soul as Isis thanks you for allowing the voice of truth to flood through you. She is once again in front of you, beaming the highest vibration light right through you, activating you into your highest order. Palms facing up, receive the light, beautiful souls. And bring your palms together and say thank you. All is well. You may now turn around and slowly descend the cosmic stairway of light, owning your words, your sounds, infusing them into your being. As you come back into your body, into the place where you began, into the room where you are now, take a deep breath in and out of your belly. Bring your awareness back into this time and space. And when you're ready, slowly opening your eyes. Take a moment to write down your words, a word. You may have heard it repeatedly, I did. I heard my word over and over again, you may too. Hold it close to you, honor it. And whenever you need help, whenever you're calling on your guides and your soul and the beloved Isis energy for assistance, say your words. Say them to infuse you with strength and rejuvenation and vitality. Whenever you wish, this is your soul's essence encapsulated in the power of the sound. Beautiful, isn't it? I trust that you enjoyed that process and you're discovering how bringing the infinite sacred into your life is that simple. We can do it in an instant and we honor who we are. Moments like that are your gold and that's what you'll always receive here with me, your gold. I love you. Thank you for bringing your presence to bear here tonight. Enjoy this process. Use it often. Use it wisely. Remember this eclipse doorway that you're in. I'm with you every day in the tip-off global energy forecast through my website, elizabethcrew.com, and of course, here on Facebook and YouTube. Till next time we meet. Thank you. We'll speak again very soon.